This is Brand USA Talks Travel, a new five minute podcast to elevate the conversation concerning international travel to the United States. Here's your host, Mark Lapidus. When it became evident that the pandemic wasn't going away in a few weeks, Brand USA started building the global marketplace online. Our guest today is Tom Garzilli, Chief Marketing Officer of Brand USA. Tom, for those unfamiliar, could you describe the global marketplace and tell us how the concept has grown over time? Sure, Mark. Thanks uh, for having me again. When you go back to the spring of 2020, as the pandemic was taking hold and the reality was setting in that it was going to be with us for a while, we knew we needed to find a way to keep a bridge open between our stakeholders here in the USA and our buyers around the world. And we knew that had to be you know, virtual. We found uh, a platform that we were going to use to just host our travel week meetings virtually. And we realized that that would actually serve a purpose if we could have our own. And so ultimately, instead of renting somebody else's platform, we built our own. And so the global marketplace was built. Again, you were pretty much involved with that from the start. You'll recall, I mean, we built it in about three months and held the uh, brand USA Travel Week 2020 as the first virtual event on it. And we've held dozens of events since and hosted hundreds and hundreds of meetings and trainings, and it's been very successful. I think the one-on-one meetings are spectacular. I'd never seen them done anywhere before. I mean, you're the one that told me all about them. Could you describe that a little bit? You know, we use the same method that we do to schedule one-on-ones when we do them live, right? We have our scheduling process, and ultimately, we start with our stakeholder, which is our destination exhibitors, and a set of buyers, and they choose each other, and we match them up. And then over the course of a couple of days, they get to talk to one another. You know, in many ways throughout the pandemic, even last month, uh, we just held a series of one-on-ones for Asia and India. It will continue to be something we'll use even when we're back to meeting live. This kind of platform gives us an opportunity to do one-on-one meetings virtual as well, and it's really valuable. What do you think the future is for virtual meetings? I feel really strongly that they're with us forever. I am a big proponent of live and being live, but the reality is the efficiency and the speed at which you can meet with buyers in five countries at the same time that you can't really do live. It's just a tool that is with us and we will use and it will be part of our arsenal of weapons that we utilize. With what you just said in mind, could you please explain why it's still important to do travel week in person? Well, you can't replace the value of meeting in person. We just had in October Travel Week 2021 in London. It was really well attended. It was our first, for many people, it was their first live and certainly their first international trip. And it was amazing. And being face-to-face with partners and stakeholders is really valuable. That will always be part of what we want to do as long as we can do it. We'll always have that balance of live and virtual as we move forward. What exactly is the International Pavilion in the global marketplace? Again, when you think about how many of our stakeholder destinations are either moving back into international countries or would like to move back into international countries, there's just some fundamental things that everyone needs. They need market overviews with information about those countries, uh, what's happening in the airline business, what's happening on the ground with tour operators, research on consumers, and other really important information before they can even make a decision to move back into a market. And the idea of the International Pavilion is to provide that information on an ongoing basis to partners that will either inform their immediate decisions or over time as they get interested in countries, be able to come into the marketplace, go to those countries, access that information. It will provide them a lot of value that they ordinarily would have to pay a lot of money and spend a lot of time doing on their own. How does a DMO join the global marketplace? Well, the global marketplace is primarily driven by pods, essentially virtual booths that a DMO would need to have in order to access a lot of the events and one-on-ones that we're doing. There are other opportunities to come onto the marketplace, to participate in some of our events, or to come into the International Pavilion. And I would just say that you just contact Brand USA, and we'll walk you through it and find the best way for you to participate. I'd like to thank Tom Gerber 
Barzilli for being our special guest these past two episodes, and I'd like to put in a quick plug for Brand USA. We've got positions open right now, so if you're interested in joining our team, please check out the career page on thebrandusa.com. We hope you'll subscribe to this new podcast, and when you do, you'll get a notification each time a new episode is released. We're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Stitcher, and wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Mark Lapidus. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to ask a question or make a comment, email us at podcast at thebrandusa.com or call 202-793-6256. Our producer is Asher Mirovich, who also writes and performs all music and sound. Engineering by Brian Watkins. Be sure and let your friends in the travel industry know about this podcast. 